Hey guys, Jeff Allen off the Gridiron Well today I was uh, busy making a new project. I took one of the, the old gas tanks you would get at some of these party stores where you uh, have the helium inside and I saw that I could modify it into something that I could use, perhaps making a hot tent stove out of it, a little mini camp stove. The whole thing weighs about five pounds, just finished the build. Let's have a look and uh, I can point out all the features of the stove. Okay, so this originally was the top of the stove. It used to sit upright like this and uh, took a grinder, cut the end off the stove, mounted a little latch handle here and on opening it you can see that I had a large round grill and that just comfortably fits in there and it just pressure fits off to the side that's where you can uh, cook something on or smoke something down underneath is where I can feed feed the fire up top this is a metal metal grate that has been uh, kind of screwed to the uh, the top and nice and flat surface great for frying frying on or putting my kind of hot kettle on right now I didn't have any official flanges or hardware store pieces so this is an old soup can that is the basis and it's uh, for where I can put a uh, smokestack On the bottom, these brackets were originally uh, kind of curtain rod brackets to hold your curtain rods or drapes above your windows. And I had four of those, which mounted on there nice. Now, they were standalone legs, but I added this extra kind of the black pipe and tubing just to give it a little, little longer base on the front, a little more stable, and uh, if nothing else, it creates a great carrying handle and uh, the piece could be stood upright as well. Well guys thanks for watching. Here I took a old helium tank from the party store and uh, turned it into a hot tent stove. Weighs about five pounds, carrying handle standoff bars, grill on the top for a pot or frying pan, and also a grill inside to grill on or to uh, try smoking or cooking some, some meat or fish. That marks the end of another DIY project. Love making these. Hopefully you love watching them. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your outdoors. It's been Jeff Allen off the Great Iron. Take care. Well, what's worked out uh, unexpectedly is the the hole at the bottom is working as a kind of a rocket stove effect just to get this started. So that was kind of unexpected. And then I'll, once it's once it's going, I'll uh, lay it down on the side. It's perfect. The uh, the grade is actually keeping keeping the wood separate from the uh, the intake. So when I lay it on its side, it's all separate, and all that fuel will fall to the bottom of the stove. So with the first burn, I uh, well actually it's been burning for a while now, but uh, 
I've got a perfect, uh, perfect pizza to try in the oven. Uh, we're gonna slide it in and see if it cooks. Okay, all the fire and, and wood is to the back. We're gonna try to slide this pizza off. Pans are already, I guess, but back in again. What I really like is now that I sit it upright, all the coals are on this side. This side is all free of coals and the air is coming in through the uh, the bottom and really that's so hot right there I could actually cook on that that'd be another advantage to this setup uh, very stable in this upright position and just get a circular grate or pull this grate out and put it across the top and that would give it another cooking alternative I've got the looks like more of a panzerati it kind of folded up in the pan but uh, I tell you it's going to be it's going to be good. Nice and crispy on the back side. Oh my gosh. Well, <clears throat> as much as all as I love to sit here and eat in front of you, I won't do that. So the uh, the oven's a success. First meal off the uh, off the oven is a, it's a more of a pizza panzerotti. Uh, I had to go in the frying pan because it was just too. The dough was just too too soft and it was falling through the grill. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a win right there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. Check out some of my other videos up top. And uh, we'll see you again. Enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now.